it's not really about the Tunisians on, on Saturday. It's about how the rugby cranes deal with their first home game in this Africa Gold Cup. The rugby cranes will take to the pitch on Saturday with every bit of belief that they can stop the Tunisians in their tracks. Tunisia has lost two games on the bounce. Such poor form should put a spring in the rugby crane's step. The boys need to be able to take that um, momentum that they've had in the past two games and um, essentially use the home ground advantage, the home crowd, their familiarity with the field they're going to be playing with to start getting significantly good results. Tunisia has won all two tests it has played against Uganda. The tourists are confident of maintaining their unbeaten streak, having done their homework on the rugby cranes. Uh, Uganda, we, know, we see the game against uh, Kenya. It, it, is, it was a tough game, uh, very good game. But uh, uh, made it, uh, it can, uh, Uganda can win the, the game against Kenya. But finally they lose the game. Uh, no problem, but uh, this, uh, this weekend uh, would be a good uh, game too. Uganda seems to have done its homework. Tunisian defense is quite challenged when the ball is given a little bit of air. So if the boys can continue uh, keeping the ball in hand, passing the ball, moving the Tunisians around the park, by the middle of the first half we should be in a position to now start commanding how this game goes. Tunisia may have come with a second string side, but its players have said they won't go down without a fight. We try our best and uh, don't lose a big score like uh, we did uh, against Kenya. So hope. We hope we'll win, but if we don't win, we don't want to lose a big score. Uganda was yesterday rocked by news that Justin Chimono's hamstring has put pay to his chances of figuring in Saturday's Gold Cup match. Solomon Okia is expected to replace the wing in the matchday squad. Having twice avoided defeat on their travels in this year's Gold Cup, the rugby cranes have shown it can go places. Many believe the Uganda Rugby Union should do its utmost to build on this decent start. Being able to play um, six internationals uh, was one of the few opportunities we had in 2007. They're going to be doing this very regularly over the next few years. This is a very big chance for the union to start uh, consistently developing talent.